Christmas show is one that I've been kind of working on for some years. It started in 2017 when I was uh, initially supposed to play with Willie Pickens. I think that was a week or week and a half before he passed away. Mm -hmm. um, so some of the arrangements we'll be playing are modified Willie Pickens arrangements. Other arrangements are my original arrangements of Christmas songs that I've had. So I believe this would be the fifth consecutive year for me doing a Christmas show, a Christmas and Vibes Town show and the first year at the Jazz Showcase. So I like to see, you know, how it's kind of grown over the years and people really look forward to this Christmas show. So <laughs> It's Mike Jeffers, Chicago Jazz Magazine, ChicagoJazz.com, and welcome to another Around Town. We've got Christmas in the air, and that's why we have Thaddeus Tooks on, because he is doing Christmas in Vibe Town. Thaddeus, thanks for jumping on real fast. This is exciting, man. You're playing over Christmas weekend at the Jazz Showcase. There's been a lot of heavy hitters in there over the past 48 years of the Jazz Showcase. Right. You, are, you are there, man. Oh, man, yeah. First of all, thanks for having me. As always, it's good to talk to you, Mike. Oh, yeah. And yeah, I am, uh, you know, Jazz Showcase is such a revered um, place, not only in Chicago, but really around the country and the world for jazz. So I feel uh, honored to be joining the ranks of musicians who have been yeah. able to play there over the years. Yeah, I said 48. It started in 48, 75 years old, actually. So right, I, don't, I should know that because I, I did Joe Siegel's book, which is right up there, by the way. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. So tell us tell us about this, man. You have you know, I know you've toured all over the place. I don't want to go way down the wormhole because we want to keep this concise because you and I could talk for like six hours about everything right. we're doing. Right. You know, all this, all the time we've known each other and everything else. But this sounds exciting, man. You got a killer band with you. So who's on the gig? Who are you playing with this weekend? I'm really excited this weekend. I have Bobby Broom on guitar. Yeah, man. I have Justin Dillard on um, organ. And Sam Jewell is going to be joining us on drums. Uh, now, Sam had uh, another commitment. So Thursday night, I'll have Marcus Evans on drums. So they're all local cats. Um, but all cats that have kind of played with a bunch of people, you know, Bobby Broom's latest CD is just so killing, man. So I feel, uh, like I said, just really honored that those cats are, are game to play. Um, this Christmas show is one that I've been kind of working on for some years. It started in 2017 when I was uh, initially supposed to play with Willie Pickens. I think that was a week or week and a half before he passed away. Mm -hmm. um, so some of the arrangements we'll be playing are modified Willie Pickens arrangements. Other arrangements are my original arrangements of Christmas songs that I've had. So I believe this would be the fifth consecutive year for me doing a Christmas show, a Christmas and Vibes Town show and the first year at the Jazz Showcase. So I like to see, you know, how it's kind of grown over the years and people really look forward to this Christmas show. So having these cats join the band, I've, you know, as a vibes player, I love playing with an organist because that vibrato, you all can sync up on that, can create some really cool tunes. Bobby Broom is just one of the, you know, one of my favorite musicians. He's so particular, his his the his ability to respond immediately to what's happening on the bandstand is exciting. And Sam Jewell, I just have been knowing him, you know, for so long and his groove master right there. So. You know, I'm really excited to bring that Chicago flavor to these Christmas songs. Well, talk talk a little bit about, so you, are you going to be playing traditional Christmas tunes, but obviously rearranged, reinterpreted versions of that? Is that what people can expect? So they're going to get in the holiday spirit here in this? Right. There will be mainly traditional Christmas tunes that are rearranged, like Hark the Herald Angels Sing, except it's in seven and things like that. But I also have some gospel songs that traditionally religious songs, because it is Christmas and you know, the way I was raised every Christmas, we were going to church, we have gospel Christmas music playing around the house. Um, so I did want to honor that tradition of Christmas as well. Um, so, to, you know, gospel songs, if you're familiar with any that you may have heard with the choir, I've rearranged for vibraphone quartet. So I think, you know, we have some, some cool things going for a variety of uh, audiences. You know, that's the thing I think that people don't realize um, playing these holiday to, you know, both of us have played these things for years and years and years, you know, at different gigs and stuff. But that it it's 
those are fun tunes to play, man. I mean, you know, being able to swing some of this stuff and play, I mean, just even winter wonderland or, or old wow. Christmas tree or whatever, and being able to swing that stuff or play it with different feels, it gives it that extra thing. And then to be able to hear you guys actually improvise over it, like Bobby mm -hmm. and yourself and, right. and um, Justin, I mean, that's going to be, it's it for those of you that have never experienced this, I encourage you to go experience it because it's just fun, man. It is a fun okay. time and it's going to be swinging, obviously, over at the Jazz Showcase. Mm -hmm. So Jazz Showcase, just so everybody knows, 806 South Plymouth Court in Chicago, jazzshowcase.com. And so let's bring it. Let's bring this up, too, because obviously there's a big winter storm coming in okay. and it's supposed to hit on Thursday afternoon. Perfect for a live band to be playing somewhere during a massive winter storm. I don't think it's going to get that bad downtown. So don't let that deter you folks. But I think uh, probably the best bet would be to have everybody check the jazz showcase website for any updates on postponements or if something gets pushed to another day or something, right. Isn't that the best way to go? Rick, you can check the jazz showcase website or you can check my website because I will also be posting whatever the update is um, regarding the weather. Okay, so ThaddeusTukes.com as well. Um, all right, so let's talk about this because, I mean, I've heard you play with a lot of different groups. And I've heard Vibe players play with a lot of different groups. I have not heard Vibe players maybe once or maybe Bobby Hutcherson or something way back in the day with, with a B3 organ or with an organ player. I mean, that first of all, the organ, it sounds like, you know, a freight train coming down the tracks when you've got an <laughs> organ play, you know, so that's well, gotta yeah. feel great. But I mean, have you well, played with a lot of organ players? I mean, I, cause. Well, it, well yeah, you know, I kind of, um, I had actually been hoping to play with organ players. I really like the sound. I like, that you, they can do bass and chords and they're in the proper register um, and it's very balanced. And I've been knowing Justin since I was, you know, in high school, just growing up in Chicago and seeing him play. And then we kind of reconnected within the last couple of years and just <clears throat> the sync between me and Justin is unparalleled. It's gotten to the point where he's really my first call for organ or, or piano, just we musically align so well. Um, it's always great, you know, there's always great playing with musicians who have a range of music that they can play and that they can reference at any time. Because me and Justin can do sets where we'll play straight through for 90 minutes, but we play some R&B, we play some jazz, yeah. we play some gospel, there are transitions um, that come in the moment. And while, yes, I really like the sound of organ and vibraphone as a uh vibes organic i think someone called it mm. but i also particularly enjoy playing with justin specifically and bobby etc you know i think that uh every uh band has a vibe to it each musicians kind of travel in packs of like-minded musicians some of us like me and you can kind of bounce around into the various circles of musicians um, but, you know, everybody has their vibe and the vibe that those cats have when they play and the vibe that they have as people, you know, uh, for me, really brings out the best musicality, the best musicianship, the best healthy competitiveness on the bandstand. Um, who's going to catch this reference? Who, if I start playing the chord changes, are you, do you know the melody? That's how it feels playing with uh, those cats. So. Like you said, there isn't a lot of vibes in Oregon, but I'm going to be doing a lot more because it's just such a, not to play off the word, but it's such a good vibe, man. It's just yeah. such a, a a great sound and a great mix of interest. Well, and, 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 you know, I mean, Bobby Broom, I had Bobby, we just did a feature interview with Bobby that, that dropped a couple of months ago and then his new recording and he and I did an around town. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I encourage everybody to go check out that feature interview because we talk all about how he got started playing with Sonny Rollins and everything else. I mean, so he's a master and he's played with B3 organ players and toured all over the world with B3 organ wow. players. So hearing him play with a B3 organ, uh, is, is, smoking <laughs> and, well you know that's what actually encouraged me to get this band because bobby and justin and sam or you know sometimes they'll switch drummers kyle swan yeah. sometimes but 
they play a lot together. They'll play, you know, the Mariano's things in Chicago, et cetera. So I went to check them out one time and I was like, okay, this is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> you know, one of those things where it kind of clicked, like this is the sound that I've been kind of going for. So yeah, yeah. Well, it's gonna it's gonna be great. And as I said before, okay. I mean, playing Christmas tunes in this style. And right around the season and everything, there's nothing better than that. So I encourage everybody to check it out. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 8 p.m. show, 10 p.m. show. All the information, jazzshowcase.com, thaddeustooks.com. And, of course, with the weather coming in, make sure you check both websites for updates. And I'll post some stuff on chicagojazz.com as well as I get some updates in. And uh, especially, I think it's going to be bad Thursday night to Friday, but you know, if you're in the city, it's really not that big of a deal to get over to the showcase. So I encourage everybody to get over there. So, well, I appreciate you jumping on. I wanted to keep this short so we can just get this, get this show up and running. And uh, after the holidays, I'm going to, by the way, this is a, a news announcement. I'm going to start doing some of these around towns in person. So maybe you and I can get together and we can actually talk all about the freedom on the Chicago Freedom Ensemble and what you have planned and everything else for 2023. Yes, sir. That sounds like a plan, man. Good, good. All right. And of course, I thank everyone for watching as usual. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. All that good stuff. And uh, until next time, hopefully I will see you all out on the scene.